Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So what I have right here is the Chestnut Air Plus. Yes, I see that it does say Chestnut Air. So I'm really hopeful that what I'm unboxing here is the Chestnut Air Plus. It is different than the Chestnut Air that was previously released by Chestnut. So I am really hopeful that once I do unbox this, I will see the Chestnut Air Plus. I've never unboxed this and it's my first time I will, of course, share my thoughts about this chessboard and give you my initial impressions overall. So what is an electronic chessboard actually? So an electronic chessboard is a board with technologies inside of it that allows you to play with a computer opponent or uh, someone online. Nowadays, we can play with someone online, unlike in the previous years. Long ago, we could only play against the computer that's in, embedded inside the chessboard. As technologies are evolving, things are becoming more sophisticated and so are the electronic chessboards. I am a fan of electronic chessboards. I was really inspired by using chess, electronic chessboards in my childhood. Once I saw my classmates playing with an electronic chessboard, I was really intrigued and hooked on playing with it. Without further ado, let's unbox the Chestnut Air Plus. Here it is, the Chestnut Air Plus from Chestnut, electronic chess set. There's a seal on the top and the bottom. This is my proof that I've never opened it. Even the box itself is a beauty. Let's open this. We have extra felt, so if the felt fall off your pieces, you can add extra felt. We have a quick start guide. You can pause the video and take a look. We have a USB-C cord right there. Here's the board itself. There it is. So this surface is made out of actual wood. Unlike the Chestnut Air previously released by Chestnut, the surface is kind of made out of plastic. This has an ingrained wood feel to it, so it's very smooth. And on the back, it has the feet to keep it stable on the board. Just to ensure that the table is flat, lying on a flat surface, not on a wobbly table. Here are the buttons. We have the USB-C slot there, three LED indicators, a speaker, power button and the toggle button. Now for the pieces, let's lay the pieces on. White pawns, white rooks, white knight, white bishop, white queen, white king. And the black pieces will be set up in three, two, one. There, there are the pieces, they're all set up. White pieces, black pieces. We also get extra queens. I'll give you a close up view of the pieces on the board. Now let's see an actual gameplay. I'll also show you the LEDs. How do the LEDs work? So to boot this thing up, all you have to do is just hold down the power button until the light flashes green. Now it's on 
and you'll see that the Bluetooth indicator is there. It's flashing. I'm using an Android phone, so I will just go to the Chestnut app and connect it. I'm on the Chestnut app. Just click on the icon on the top right, that Bluetooth icon. It's connecting. There's the name of the board, Chestnut Air Plus. It's battery life. It has about half battery. I haven't charged it. I just took it out of the box. LEDs are on. Let's play a game. Just lift up a piece. There's the LED. And here's my pawn. I'm just going to place it there. Black's turn, red LED. So what is great about it? Why do we have LEDs on this board? We want to play on the board without having to look at the screen. So that's why we do have LEDs on this board. It's just a more authentic and natural play, playing chess on the board physically without having to look at the screen every time. Otherwise, you would have to look at the screen each time you want to move, which does ruin the actual purpose of buying this board in the first place. I'm pretty impressed by how bright the LEDs are. So on the other boards, they are using green LEDs. This board is using red LEDs. So I think that red LEDs are better. They do really stand out more. They're more vibrant and you can see it clearly. I'm pretty impressed by how bright the LEDs on this board are. I'm going to put the king in check. Hear that beep. Let's restart the game. Put the pieces back. Here's an extra view of the LEDs. So yes, once again, I'm quite impressed by how bright these LEDs are. They really do stand out. We are using a red color and I think red LEDs are more vibrant and bright it's more suitable for this particular board. Well, I would say for all electronic chess boards, I believe that red, in my opinion, red is more, is more uh, suitable for an electronic chess board because it's really vibrant and they, re they really stand out more. We can see it easily. And there are also other boards that do use red LEDs. And as for Chestnut, this board, the Chestnut Air Plus, is specifically using red LEDs. So to charge it, you have your USB-C cable here that's included in the box. Just insert this in here. You can also use a power bank. Just connect the other, other side, the USB-A, into a power bank. You can also connect this board to a fast charger like a Samsung adapter. This board does not have annotations, A to H and 1 to 8 on the sides. So you will have to perhaps refer to the app as you play. It's not really a big deal, but the annotations are indicated on the app. And once you go back to that app for your study and past games revision, you can play them on the board again and refer to the app as you play along and revisit those games and just continue playing the game. Every board from Chestnut has piece recognition. So every piece that there is has an RFID chip under it. So that is communicating with the electronics underneath the surface of this board. I'm in the board editor app. And what I'll do is lift up a piece and place it somewhere. So here you can see the queen. It's on this square. If I place another queen, like the black queen, for example, an extra black queen on the board, it'll recognize it. What if I swap? the king with the queen, as I always do. I always initiate this test. It's a good test because it determines whether it'll recognize that the queen is on the correct square or not. Here you can see that the king is on the white square when it shouldn't be and the queen is on the black square. 
you can use this storage bag by Chestnut. So you can insert your cable charger here and uh, your pieces go inside here. I have the Chestnut Air, the original one. This bag also is suitable for the Chestnut Air or the Chestnut Air Plus. And you can use one bag for both of them. Well, I mean, you can't carry both chess boards in one bag, but you can use the same bag for both chess boards. It feels average weight, not heavy nor light, somewhere down in the average. Of course, it's not easy to carry this easily. Like if you do jostle it around, it's not, the pieces are not going to stay on, unlike the Chestnut Go. There's a discount code in my description should you wish to get this board or any other Chestnut boards. Just use the code ROLAN, it's R-O-L-A-N or you can click the link in my description. I hope to continue making further videos with these chess boards and actual gameplay footage. So feel free to tune into my channel. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.